uh, to Rob here from Fishkey, and today we're going to be uh, doing an installation video on the ratchet system and the load spreading feet. Okay, so the tools you can need are uh, a Phillips head screwdriver, uh, number 10 spanner, number 4 allen key, this one's got a T piece on it, and if you want to speed things up you can use an impact driver like this one here with the Phillips head attachment on top. Okay, so when the box turns up it'll look something like this. Uh, Raf's going to do an unpacking for us, so you open the box up, there'll be some foam inserts, protection inserts on top. And this is a, a limited version we're doing at the moment, so it comes out quite easily. Alright, the limited will turn up. Uh, with the load spreading feet already attached to it and the deluxe model you'll have to put them on but we'll show you that later. So you go into the box here, you'll have rod holders, your ratchets and uh, also a bag of screws. So a handy tip is also uh, if you flip the box upside down you can um, you can start your uh, putting your bits and pieces on at a nice uh, even working height there. Okay, with the ratchets you'll get, uh, you'll see this one here will have four clips on the back. Uh, so that's for the rear, uh, and this front one will just have a single clip on it. So that's for the side. So uh, Raphael's going to show you how to uh, install those. We'll do those first. So you'll see on the box uh, the bolt, uh, sorry, nut and washer there. And if we go around to the other side, uh, you'll see another one here. All right, so what we're basically going to do is going to put the ratchet onto there. Yeah, so Raf's going to pull the, uh, press the red button in, so loosen the ratchet like such. Yep. And then he's going to unclip the front of it there. Okay, so undo the bolt. Sorry, the nut keeps on bolt. Take the washer off, and you'll see a little uh, rubber washer there. Leave that on. That's good for locating the uh, the ratchet itself. So now with your uh, your 10 10 mil spanner and your uh, number four Allen key, it's just a case now of actually tightening it up. So so you want it you want it firm and put it in position. That's about the angle it's going to go on, uh, and then you can give it a, a nice tighten up. So what we're going to do now is uh, Rapscott's going to pull this out, press the red button in like that, that comes out and what we're going to do is explain uh, the process here, it goes through the first eye, first eye in D like that, put your clip back on and clip it to your diamond D there, beautiful alright, and this clip here goes on the front of the strap and that'll go to the back of the ski obviously, uh, but we can show that when we do the install onto the ski. So with the rear you'll see It'll have the four clips, we'll explain that later when we're putting it on the ski. Same thing again, just undo the undo the ratchet. Like that, keep your clips, keep them aside. And take off your nut and washer. And just to repeat the process, what you did to the front. Okay, now you've done that, what you're going to do now, pull the heap out, cover it underneath the box, make sure the strap's not twisted. And clip it on the side. Then you can put your four clips back on. Alright, next stage. Okay, so these are all your rod holders here. Uh, we've got one here with a long, super long lanyard on it like that. Uh, that's for your uh, fishing net. 
or even a, uh, a bigger gaff if you need to have one. Okay, so that's going to go on the right back here, that side. We have the cutout one, obviously, that's going to go in front of there so the strap can go through. And then we have another two lanyards that have the safety, sorry, two rod holders that have the safety lanyards already attached to them. So you'll have one through the side, like such. That's it, there and there. And then you'll have three plain ones. Okay, so they'll go on that side there and the remaining one will go on that side there. Okay, so get your bag of screws open and Raf's going to show you how to put this on with uh, using the impact driver. The holes are already pre-drilled, ready to go. Yeah, just line up your holes and don't, you don't need to uh, over tighten the uh, screws, you don't want to strip them in the plastic. So now all the uh, rod holders are on. Uh, the next job now is to uh, get in here and uh, pull your legs down like that, your feet, and wind your legs out. So when you wind this out, um, obviously this is custom to suit every sort of angled deck. So with the Yamaha, we're gonna take it out about um, 60 mil. And we can always adjust it when we put it on the ski anyway to, to get the right height. So obviously you want to have that one matched up with that one. There is a lock nut is there, uh, there as well, but when we're happy with the height, then we can lock that off. Okay, now time to put it on the ski. And the first thing to do here is put your front strap on. That's most important you don't want the box falling off the back of the ski. So loosen off your ratchet, get in there and uh, put your clip on. Okay, hit the red button. That's it. You don't have to do it up tight yet. What we're going to do is, uh, is stand back and get the box as level as we can. And what we want to do here is this, this line across here you want that parallel with your bumper strip line here. Okay, so you don't want the box tilting back. You don't want it tilting forward. So Russ going to readjust that. He's going to put those, pull those bolts out, the big cuphead bolts out a bit further to level the box up. Okay, so now we're going to put the, uh, the rear clips on. We can explain why you've got two. So all the skis are a little bit different. This is obviously a Myth XHO. Um, I've got to have two clips, and the reason I've got two clips is that it gets the strap above the reversing bucket. Okay, so what we'll do now, press the red button on the ratchet, and you'll see the belt tightens up. Make sure there's no twists in the belt. It'll actually sit on the inside of that, both sides. Beautiful, all right? So next, next job is to tighten the rear down. What you've got to do, is uh, you uh, grab the rod holder on the right hand side opposite to the ratchet and pull your body weight down and then ratchet at the same time and you what will happen is it, uh, it, it creates an even spread on the rear of the deck all right then we're going to slip around to the front here and then you're going to ratchet the front All right, so box is nice and firm. Um, what you've got to remember with the ratchets also, because they're, they're coiled up, uh, it might take two or three times of using the box for them to become nice and stiff. They do uh, have a 7% stretch and that's it, uh, but they do get tighter in the coil. So uh, the beauty about it is if you uh, 
offshore and you're cruising along and your box comes a little bit loose, you can just reach around and grab the ratchet and tighten it uh, while you're out there. So when you get a deluxe box, um, obviously it's got the extra deck on top there. Uh, your load spreading feet will not be attached. They'll come separate like this. And what you'll be doing is you'll be attaching them yourself. So there is a hole in the leg, as you can see there. And, it's, and the, uh, the load spreading leg will actually have a, a bolt and a nut and a washer. And it's just a simple case of uh, sliding it on. And when you do these up do, it up, do it up nice and firm so it doesn't flop around. Okay, and the next, next piece you've got to do is slide your big cuphead bolt in there. That's obviously your height adjustment for the ski. So when you've got a deluxe box, uh, it comes standard with the jerry cans, which are these two guys here. And uh, Raf's going to quickly show you, it comes with a T-piece. So it's just a simple case of winding that in. You don't have to wind it in all the way, obviously, because um, your jerry can's going to slide over the T-piece. Uh, and then you just wind that in. And you'll feel it click, you don't have to go too hard on it. And then once you're uh, happy with the torsion on it, that's it. So it's a quick release system. Uh, that goes for both of them, obviously. Now the jerry cans, uh, they can be an option put onto the limited box as well. But uh, as a deluxe, it comes down. And obviously with the ratchets uh, and the box itself, you know, treat it like the ski. Uh, wash it and clean it, uh, lubricate the, uh, all the componentry, that is 304 stainless. And the ratchets, uh, you know, just, just take care of your box as you would, as you would your ski.